That's good. Councilors, I hereby call the City Council for September 23, 2019 order. Everybody, please stand. We'll salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, we do want to recognize our former colleague and now the esteemed Mayor, Moses Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for being here tonight. I'm going to go on to... Uh, to the agenda, please, uh, Mr. Clark. The acceptance of the minutes of September 9, 2019, City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. We have appointments the promotion of firefighter Michael J. Murray to the rank of fire lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. Council Cruz. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to take items two through five collectively and Second. act on them this evening under suspension of the rules. Second. Second. Motion on the floor is properly seconded to take agenda items two through five collectively. All in favor of taking them collectively, raise your hand. If you oppose, raise your hand. That carries. Now two through five collectively under suspension of the rules. All in favor of that? All opposed? That carries. We're going to take two, three, four, and five collectively and under suspension, please. We have three. Promotion of firefighter Michael D. Mahoney to the rank of fire lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. Promotion of fire lieutenant John P. McDonald to the rank of fire captain in the Brockton Fire Department. And promotion of Fire Lieutenant Michael C. McKinnon to the rank of Fire uh, Captain and the Brockton Fire Department. Questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Yes. 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 The, uh, the promotions are hereby ordained. If Move everybody could please stand. <laughs> make, a motion, make a motion for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. Second. second. Motion on the floor for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. It was properly second. All in favor of reconsideration, kindly raise your hand. All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. We're going to take a two minute recess. Congratulations. <laughs> Number six, please. Hmm? We have a communication from the mayor submitting a letter of resignation for Mark Spazer from the Brockton mm, Conservation yeah, I do. Commission. I don't. No, that's parking meter. Well, Accepted and placed on file. Bob, you shut that a little bit for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. We have communication with Joanne Sigmund of 12 Wells Foot Street, Brockton, oh, to no, fill the Brockton Conservation tonight. Commission, the one to fill the unexpired term of Mike Spiegel. Council Ladies Act, please. Mr. President, um, make a motion to take the next two items, seven and eight, under suspension of the rules and act on them this evening. Second. The, both um, Joanne and um, Joanne Zygmunt and Bianca Gay. Oh, sorry, do I have the right seven one? Seven and nine, Councilor? Seven and nine, yes. yes. Okay, both. so. No, actually, no. no. Seven and eight. Ten. Seven and nine. Eight and, ten. and ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten. No, you can't. Oh, you, can't yes. you can't take eight. You can't take. We'll take seven first. Thank on, you. There's a motion on the floor to take number seven under suspension and act on it tonight. All in favor? All right. I'll it was seconded, too, right, councilors? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all opposed? Motion carries. We'll take number seven uh, and we'll act on it tonight under suspension. Uh, with that being said, uh, Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Kennedy Affirmative? The, uh, the matter is hereby ordained. Go on to number eight. Communication from the mayor submitting a letter of resignation of Bianca Gay from the Brockton Conservation Commission. That's accepted and placed on file. And I do want to, I was remiss. Thank you for being here and thank you for your service. Thank you. We'll go to number nine, please. Appointment of Stephanie Danielson, 603 Summer Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Conservation Commission to fill the unexpired term of Bianca Gay. Council Isaac? Yes, Mr. President, I'd like to take um, this item under suspension of the rules and act on it. Second. Second. Number nine, there's a motion on the floor. It was properly seconded, taken under suspension of rules. All in favor, kindly raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Uh, and with that being said, uh, Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. McCastro? Yes. 
Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The, uh, the, the matter is hereby ordained, and we do uh, want to thank uh, Ms. Danielson on that. We'll go on to number 10, please. The appointment of Bonnie Sparks of 123 Tilton Avenue, Brockton, to the Brockton Conservation Commission for a three-year term to fill a vacant, unfilled position. Councilor Isaac, please. We would also like to take this item under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. Motion on the floor is properly seconded. Take number 10 under suspension and act on it tonight. All in favor, kindly raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Matter is ordained, and we want to thank Ms. Sparks. Thank you. Reappointment of William R. May, Jr. <coughs> excuse me, of 61 Oak Street, Brockton, to the position of Director of Planning and Economic Development for the City of Brockton for a five-year term ending June to, uh, 2024. Referred to Finance Committee. We have the report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of September 4th, 2019. That is accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the grants coordinator requesting that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditure of the total grant funds in the amount of $240,000 from the Massachusetts Department of Energy Resources Green Community Competitive Grant to City of Brockton Mayor's Office Green Community Competitive Grant Funds. These funds will be used to fund energy conservation measures in municipal facilities, including the Davis Elementary School, Brockton High School, Raymond Elementary School, and School Administration Building. The energy conservation measures funded are LED, lighting, and administrative and technical support. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requested that the City Council revise the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 23, Water, Sewage, and Sewage Disposal, Article 3, Sewer and Sewage Disposal, to add reference to best management practices and also to amend Section 23-38 through 23-92. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. That also is accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too, accepted and placed on file. The Communication from the Mayor in accordance with the provisions and stipulations of Section 5B of Chapter 40 of the Mass General Laws, hereby recommending the City Council accepts the fourth paragraph of Mass General Laws Chapter 40, Section 5B, which allows dedication without further appropriation of all or a percentage not less than 25% of particular fees, charges, or receipts to a stabilization fund to be effective for the fiscal year beginning on July 1, 2019, or take any other action relative thereto. Expenditures for the stabilization fund shall be made on the authority and direction of the mayor with a vote of the city council. That is accepted and placed on file. A communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too accepted and placed on file. A communication from the executive director of the parking authority in accordance with section 12-111 of the city ordinances requesting that the city council authorize the executive director of the parking authority to procure and install parking meters called for in the parking study conducted by Nelson Igad. No appropriation will be necessary for this purchase. Sufficient funding is available in the capital projects line items of the parking meters revolving fund. Accepted and placed to file. <coughs> communication from the mayor recommending the same. That to accept and place to file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accept and place to file. We have an audit at section 26B to 26E, inclusive of chapter 111 of the Mass General Laws, <clears throat> being hereby is accepted by the City of Brockton in accordance with section 26A of chapter 111 of the Mass General Laws. In Council, August 26, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance, that report was referred back to the full City Council to be sent to committee. Mr. President. Council Fowler. This was sent to ordinance and it was not uh, an ordinance matter. It's referred back and I would ask that it be placed on the, a uh, move to put it on the next FinCom agenda. Second. Second. It's motion on the floor uh, to refer this and it was, it was erroneously sent to ordinance. Uh, refer it to finance. All in favor of referring it to finance, kindly raise your hand. All opposed. 
it carries. It's going to be referred to finance. And councilors, just to let you know on this, this matter, this is uh, pretty important. Uh, Mayor Rodriguez has expressed it. Um, so if need be, as president, I will call a special meeting to address this, but we will send it to FENCOM. We have a meeting next week. We can vet it out. We can share it. We can talk it. But just uh, keep it on your docket that this is vitally important. We'll go on to number 25, please. The zoning request change from industrial to commercial for the properties map of East Ashland Street, previously voted on by the Planning Board and forwarded to the City Clerk and City Council. The proposed amendment that the following parcels be included and the proposed change. 161-094, 161-096, 161-097, 161-097R, 161-09A, and 161-113. The addition of these properties will protect the existing residential zones from the possibility of any future expanded industrial uses. In Council, July, uh, June 24th, 2019, Reading referred to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable, and Council, September 9, 2019, passed to a third reading by a hand vote. Council's questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Me yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Uh, yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby ordained. Order pursuant to Article 2, Section 2-93 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. It is referred to the Ordinance Committee the responsibilities to undertake review of the current salary for all positions governed by the ordinances of the City of Brockton, as well as a proposed creation of any new position. Provided further, the Ordinance Committee shall present any recommended amendments to the ordinances governing positions and salary levels to the City Council for review and approval relative to the salary of the Director of Human Resources and the creation of the position of Assistant Director of Human Resources. In Council, May 13th, read and referred to Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable to generate report of Ordinance Committee relative to salaries. <coughs> Mr. President. Uh, Council Farwell. There's additional work that needs to be done in this uh, item, uh, namely generate an ordinance amendment reference to all of the discussions we had in ordinance. So I would move to refer this back to the ordinance committee so that we can work with legislative council on it. Second? Is there a second? Second. On the, on the, you seconded it, right, Councilor? On the, on the motion. I just, this was only a report. It will, sending it back, though, I don't know, will that allow us to, all the items we talked about that night, uh, I'm not sure that they're all, they're all mentioned in this. This this was really just a report out of that committee. Yeah. Do we need to send something else, or will this allow us a, enough leeway to discuss all of the issues we spoke about that day? Th this, in other words, has no ordinance effect, I believe. That, that, that's that's correct, Councillor. That there really is no ordinance. We genera generated a report which went to all of the members, and hopefully that has been read and digested. Now we need to actually put forth an ordinance for the Ordinance Committee to consider and, f and send back to the full City Council with the specific figures, whatever they may be, for salary adjustments. Uh, okay, and I guess through the President to our, to our City Clerk, I guess I'm just thinking that this is not, we can't create an ordinance in the Ordinance Committee, correct? That's That's correct. Be created here and referred. That's correct. So th this really doesn't do anything if we send this back, I don't believe, does it? No. It, 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 um, it, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Councilor, I'm through you to our city clerk as well. So through we'll our the, president to our city clerk. We'll give the committee the chance to review uh, the thoughts on what direction they want to travel in or what they want to establish and come forth with a, an ordinance that's acceptable to everyone concerned. I, I don't see where there's a restriction of any type for this to go back to, to be reconsidered. But there's nothing in here that would create we, we would not have to still write an ordinance. No, but it's, it's still going to be open. It's going to come before you again once it's amended and you have a chance to vote acceptance or, you know, or denial. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Um, so there's a motion made, properly seconded, to send us back to uh, ordinance. All in favor? All opposed? It carries. Refer that back to ordinance, please. 27, kindly. 
An ordinance amending the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 23, Water, Sewer, and Sewage Disposal, Article 3, Sewage and Sewage Disposal, to add references to best management practices, and also to amend Section 23-38 through 23-92. Further ordinance committee, please. Order that the City Council accepts the fourth paragraph of Mass General Laws, Chapter 40, Section 5B, which allows a dedication without further appropriation of all or a percentage not less than 25% of particular fees charged or receipts to a stabilization fund established under Mass General Laws, Chapter 40, Section 5B, to be effective for the fiscal year beginning on July 1, 2019, or take any other action relative thereto. Refer to Finance Committee. Order to see if the city will dedicate all or a percentage, which may not be less than 25%, of the local option excise on retail marijuana sales revenues collected under Mass General Laws Chapter 64N, Section 3, through the Community Impact Stabilization Fund established under Mass General Laws Chapter 40, Section 5B, effective for fiscal year 2020, beginning on July 1, 2019, or take any other action relative thereto. Refer to Finance Committee. <clears throat> Order to see if the city will dedicate all or a percentage which may not be less than 25% of the community impact fees collected under Mass General Laws, Chapter 64N, and related host uh, community agreements to the Community Impact Stabilization Fund established under Mass General Laws, Chapter 40, Section 5B, effective for fiscal year 2020, beginning on July 1, 2019, or take any other action relative thereto. For the finance. Audit <coughs> accepted expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $240,000 from the Mass Department of Energy Resources Green Community Competitive Grant to City of Brockton Mayor's Office Green Community Competitive Grant Funds. Referred to Finance. Audit that the City Council authorize the approvals to the Executive Director of the Parking Authority to procure and install parking meters called for the parking study conducted by Nelson Dykard. Sufficient funding is available in the capital projects lines, items of the parking meter revolving fund. Council Board, God, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like uh, to request that this be taken under the suspension of rules. We have the executive uh, director here tonight if we have any questions. And this is due to the fact that there's a, it's time sensitive. And second. Take second. It, motion on the floor, probably second to take under suspension of rules. All in favor, kindly raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. We do have Mr. Malley here if there's any questions. Any questions for Mr. Malley on this? Mr. Cruz, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Malley. Um, I just checking, so sufficient funding is available. This is in the capital projects line, so we don't need any kind of, you don't yeah, need a, it, Our revolving fund has a capital uh, projects line item in it, right? And so the money is already in that. We're not asking for an appropriation at all. At all, just, just the approval to, to spend that money. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Councilor. Any other questions for Mr. Malley? Seeing none, the matter is gonna become for us by a roll call vote, please. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Send in the affirmative. The, uh, the, the order is hereby ordained, councillors. Make a motion for reconsideration. Second. Hopes prevail. Motion made properly, second reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, kindly raise your hand. All opposed? Reconsideration does not prevail. Thank, thank you. Thank you very thank you, much. Mr. Malley. Thank you for taking me tonight, too. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. We'll go on to the last agenda item, please. Resolved to put on notice the owners and oper or operators of Lubris Auto Body, located at 64 Elliott Street, Brockton, and the owners or operators of D&G Auto, located at 8 Perkins Street, Brockton, to notify them that a public hearing will be held concerning revocation of their licenses. For the Finance Committee. Mr. Mr. President, I make a motion to accept the late file. Second. Motion on the floor, probably second for a late file. All in favor? All opposed? Late file is accepted. <clears throat> Order that the lifting of the restrictions of parcel ID 096-121, which is the lot next to 16 Battle Street, owner <clears throat> R. Gomes. Referred to Finance Committee. President, Councilor. Motion for uh, accept, accept the late file. Second. This motion made properly. Second for late file. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. In order to delete section 2 141, Wage and Personnel Board in its entirety. 
Council, before we address that, I, the, the, the last one, did we address that one properly? What did you say? I, I believe that should have gone to real estate. It's, yeah, sorry, I, I it has been. Okay. Real, estate. real estate. I'd like to take that back. If we could put that in the minutes, refer to real estate, please. And uh, the one that Mr. Monahan just did again. The lead second wage of personnel board and satiety. Let's say. That's going back to ordinance. Good morning, yeah. ordinance committee. Oh, yes. The yeah. of an ordinance, yeah. Yep. Any other late files, councils? I think we have. Councils, any, anybody have uh, a newly designated term, constant recognition? Oh, Council Alley, we'll recognize you. <laughs> Thank you Looks for recognizing like me. I was a little worried. These are new glasses. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate the uh, six new Brockton police officers who were sworn in at 11 a.m. today in these chambers. Um, the, uh, the city clerk swore them in, uh, and you know they, uh, I think they're going to represent the city well. So I wanted to congratulate them and wish them the best of luck. Thank you, Council. Council Beauregard, recognition, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I've got a couple here. First of all, uh, downtown Brockton traffic study open house tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday, September 24th, beginning at 7 p.m. in the GAR room at the second floor of the City Hall. And this is really pretty important here because there's proposals to change uh, the traffic pattern for downtown. And uh, everyone can come in with their input. This is for residents, businesses, and anyone else. And this doesn't mean all, everything's going to be decided that night, but it's, it's, it's essential for the input. Uh, for those of you who weren't lucky enough to go to the Greek Festival, you missed out. It was phenomenal again this year. And also, I want to uh, mention that Broughton High had a collaborative today, a big announcement with um, the computers and, and professors working collaboratively with Brock Bridgewater State University and Broughton High, and this was pretty impressive. They did a nice little ribbon cutting and uh, very grateful that huge opportunity and student scholarships were created for future teachers um, in the name of our, our late mayor. So it was pretty impressive and also I've been asked um, uh, there's people that are proposing, what do you call those, um, you know, uh, Neighborhood Watch slash Neighborhood Association, and uh, the woman, Jackie, um, is inviting everybody to 23 Electric Ave on Thursday, September 26th at 5.30 p.m., and she'd love to have you to hear about uh, creating this program. Thank you. Thank you, Councils. Council Powell, please. Uh, actually, just a reminder to the Ordinance Committee, we will meet at 6 o'clock Thursday here in City Council Chamber. And in terms of recognition, uh, I wasn't going to do this, but I would like to recognize the mayor for changing the phone system at City Hall so that when people call, you're actually going to get a live human being. I call the clerk's office and I have to go through a whole menu of numbers before I can finally get the clerk. And uh, you know, we live in an impersonal world with texting, email, and, and everything else, but maybe in municipal government, we can still talk to a, a person and get done what we need to get done. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Councilor uh, Isaac, followed by Ian Erie, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, as Council Beauregard, Beauregard mentioned, the uh, Greek Festival was very successful this past weekend, but I'd also like to remember, uh, remind everybody that the Lebanese Festival is coming up this weekend, Friday, September 27th, 20, Saturday the 28th, and Sunday the 29th, down at St. Teresa's Church, which is at 343 North Main Street. So I hope everybody will come join us and uh, celebrate some Lebanese heritage and food. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilor, just to clarify again, and uh, thanks to the mayor again, that change in phone system is, is throughout all the departments, not just the clerk's office. Oh. So we just wanted to make sure people realize that. Um, <laughs> Councilor, I had about 10 pieces of baklava this weekend, and I'm looking <laughs> forward to the Lebanese. So I was told it's keto diet friendly, so let me know over there, okay? <laughs> Councilor Yanary, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And Councilor Fowler, while you're uh, dishing through all those <clears throat> telephone numbers, maybe you can find out why I still come up under Brockton City Hall and I get all the calls every day. <laughs> I had three calls about the woman that can't find her marriage license, and uh, everyone wanted to know where to vote. And you through the chairman, I'm it's because you. you're an icon here, Councilor. Yeah, Lincoln. well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I might be the icon, but I'm, I'm tired of uh, doing the extra duty and only getting my uh, usual salary. But in any case, I just want to remind the, the uh, members of the accounts committee that tomorrow night we meet at uh, 6 p.m. right here in the uh, council uh, uh, room. So just a reminder again, accounts committee at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Anybody else? Seeing none, this uh, meeting's adjourned. Thank you. Drive careful tonight. <laughs>